Where is Polonius? In heaven! Send hither to see. If your messenger find him not there, seek him in another place yourself. But, indeed, if you find him not within the month, you shall nose him as you go up the stairs into the lobby. Go seek him there. He will stay till you come. Hamlet, this <laughs> deed of thine, for thine especial safety, which we do tender as we dearly grieve for that which thou hast done, must send thee hence with fiery quickness. Therefore, prepare thyself for England. Good, so it is, if thou new start purposes. I see a cherub that sees them. But come! For England! Follow him at foot. Tempt him aboard with speed. Delay not, I'll have him hence tonight. Away, for everything is sealed and done that else leans on the affair. And England. Thou mayest not coldly set our sovereign process, which imports by letters congering to that effect the present death of Hamlet. Do it, England. For like the hectic in my blood he rages, and thou must cure me. Till I know tis done. How oh, am I hap? My joys were never done. Good sir, his powers are these. We are of Norway, sir. <clears throat> How purpose, sir, I pray you? Against some part of Poland. Who commands them, sir? The nephew to old uh, Norway, fought in brass. Was it against the men of Poland or for some frontier? Truly to speak, and with no addition, we go to gain a little patch of ground that hath in it no profit but the name. Why well, then, the poor never will defend it. Yes, it is already garrisoned. Two thousand souls and twenty thousand ducats will not debate the question of this straw. This is the imposthume of much wealth and peace that inward breaks and shows no cause without why the man dies. I humbly thank you, sir. God by you, sir. How all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man if the chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed? I do not know why yet I live to say these things to do, since I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples as gross as earth exhort me. Witness this army of such mass and charge, led by a delicate and tender prince, exposing what is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death and danger dare, even for an eggshell. Rightly to be great is not to stir without great argument, but greatly to find quarrel in a straw when honour's at the stake. How stand I then? that have a father killed, a mother stained, excitement of my reason and my blood, and let all sleep, while to my shame I see the imminent death of twenty thousand men, that for a fantasy and trick of fame go to their graves like beds, fight for a plot whereon the numbers cannot try the cause that is not too men up or continent to hide the slain. But from this time forth my thoughts be bloody, or be nothing worth. 